What's up everybody? Hope you're having an amazing day. Today we're going to talk about a book about suspense, about survival, and about what strangest things are. I'll be back. Sorry for the disturbance. Today we're going to review The Hatchet. This story starts off with a boy named Brian who's traveling to his father. Just to start you off, it, this book tries to be dramatic, but sometimes I think it's not even trying. So he's traveling to his father and then his pilot suddenly has a heart attack. They crash into a lake. When Brian gets out of the lake, he sees that he's surrounded by trees. He gets out of the woods and goes to flat area where, lucky for him, there are three boulders in the shape of a ceiling and two walls. He makes the entrance of his house with some vines. It's free real estate. Now you can't live without food or water. So lucky for him, he had a pond right next to his house with fishes in it. His mom gave him a hatchet before he boarded the plane and he used them to get a few fishes. He uses the hatchet to get some berries as well and then eats them violently. But then he goes out to hunt some new berries because the old berries gave him diarrhea. Uh -oh. He gets these new berries and eats them less violently and saves some. A few days later, it starts getting colder and he realizes he might need a fire. So he attempts a few ways that he's learned but they never work. In anger, he throws his hatchet at the boulder and a few sparks fly out. He takes this idea and then he hits the hatchet a few more times at the boulder and a fire erupts. Fire have made fire! It takes up the wood barks that he brought before up fast and then he runs out to get more fuel for the fire. After a few days things seem to go pretty well. He has a fish spear and he hunts some fish. He has a big source of uh, water and he has fire and a shelter. But then he takes one look at himself in the reflection of his pond and realizes he needs a shower. And then he gets the big idea that there might have been a survival kit in the plane that he crashed in in case of an emergency. This is big brain time. He runs with the hatchet to go get the kit. After he reaches at the lake, he realizes that he's gonna have to smash the wall of the aeroplane because the door is submerged underwater. After a few attempts of smashing, the hatchet slips from his hand and into the deep darkness of the lake. No! Now the water was deep and Brian was devastated because without the hatchet, nothing was possible. So he does a deep dive and almost dies retrieving the hatchet. He gets it and this time he holds it firmly. He busts open a hole in the plane and he gets the survival kit. But what he sees will haunt him forever. He sees the pilot of the airplane but not just the pilot. The fish in the airplane have bit away half his skin and it's just a horror. He gets the survival kit and swims out in a hurry. And boy, what to find. The survival kit had everything you needed. It had a med kit, a compass, a lighter, a knife, a cook set, utensils, pots and pans, water purifier, and a fishing kit, and much more. That night, he ate like a king. Now, I would not like to spoil this ending, so let's get to the ratings. I would rate this book a 3 out of 5. Now I know a lot of you would disagree with my rating but my rating my choice. Anyways don't forget to go hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell and drop a like please. The fact of the day is that you can't smell any odor even if it's good or bad in your sleep. Goodbye. That's all folks.